Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for a Dollar Tree haul. That's what this is right now today. A Dollar Tree haul. You guys know I normally do my nine and sister hauls, but people have, you guys know I do a lot of crap, like DIYs and stuff like that. People have been like, yo, do you shop anywhere else? <laughs> if so, where do you get all your craft stuff from? I did not get all of my craft stuff from Dollar, uh, from 99 cent store. I do do Dollar Trees and thrift stores. And thrift stores and all of that. Um, but I won't know what you guys are interested in, what videos you want to see, hauls and all that kind of stuff. I won't know those things unless you comment and let me know or, you know, reach out via text or whatever, how people tell me, you know, or make requests for when it comes to videos, okay? So if you do, like I said, if you want to see hauls of different things or decor in my DIYs and stuff like that, leave a comment below. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell next to it so you won't miss any videos. If you don't hit that bell, you will hit videos. Um, and if you want to see something, see a video that you want to see more of, you have to make a comment on that video or you should make a comment on that video. That way I know what's going on. We have a line of communication open and we can all be happy and get what we want we need from this channel, right? Okay, let's jump right on into it. This is gonna be a quick Dollar Tree haul, but I do want, I wanted to switch up the scenery from differently from that do my 99 cent store videos. So, um, you know, just to see what the feedback is like and different things like that. Normally my 99 cent store hauls are pretty massive. They're pretty big. There's no need in me like physically showing you or communicating to you about each and every item. Um, and I don't feel like I need to be in those videos. And plus, I'm trying to get that stuff packed and put away because majority of it's food. So those are quick videos that I get out to you guys um, to more so try to help than just be like, hey, this is what I use this for. This is what I do this for type of videos, okay? Now that I said that mouthful, let's just jump into it. I hope everyone is being well, as well as they can um, during these very um, unconventional, uh, hard to explain unorthodox times right now, right? We've got a lot of a lot of different things going on in life right now. I just hope everyone is being safe um, and healthy uh, during this time right now and um, taking advantage of the time that we all actually physically have with each other or alone, um, you know, depending on what your, uh, <laughs> depending on what your quarantine status is like. Now, Dollar Tree. I have been able to pop in and out of um, Dollar Tree over the past couple weeks. Um, quarantine is different state by state, town by town, as we all should know and be well aware of right now, that it is significantly different uh, state by state and town by town what quarantine is, um, but you still should be practicing, you know, distance and so on and so forth. But I'm able to get out to the store and I'm going to show you guys, of course, have a lot of time here at home to get things done now. So this is just a giant pack of paper because the kids are home and painting, crafting, all that good stuff. You just can't go wrong with a giant pack of paper for a dollar, right? <laughs> Start off really basic and simple. This is going to be extremely random because I did not um, empty the bags and sort them and do all that. We're just going to give it to you raw. This gorgeous bag right here these little baskets they fit in most shelves they are just really really cute just like this i'm just using mine simple and basic like this i'm not doing a diy with these um, i'm just doing some organization in um, an area upstairs where i can put papers and books um, i keep educational books and do summer school with my boys anyway um, but now that they're home now i'm starting to do a lot of reorganizing and things like that um, in that area in that space now Came across these baskets. They have them in like three different colors. These are freaking awesome. And this is Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree just got the little area that says, um, what is it? Uh, dollar more or Dollar Plus. That's what they call it. That's what they're calling it now. Dollar Plus where they have small areas with like red um, flyers or whatever that says Dollar Plus where they have other things that are more than a dollar now. However, 95% of the store is still Dollar Tree, which is uh, everything only a dollar okay and they just did this i know a lot of states and stuff did, had been doing this for months now but this recently happened like over the past week saying that to say look at this little cutie here this is actual real cement real concrete this is a plastic bulb like object with cute little tea lights strung through it this was three dollars normally this is going to easily five dollars or more you know, if you can catch it at something like this at five below, it'll probably be five bucks. You catch this anywhere else online or something, this is easy, seven, twelve, fifteen dollars. Okay. 
They had some that had a pink bottom and a teal bottom. I liked the um, raw, natural, um, concrete look. I did get two of them. They were $3 a piece. They did not come with a battery. It's very heavy. Um, that's how I know it's real concrete. So, so cute. I have two of them now in my studio area that I just rearranged. Crafting section. They, um, CS, brand CS, which is Crafters Square, is the brand that um, Dollar Tree carries the most of their crafting things in their crafting aisle. This here is glue tape. It's kind of like wide out, easy double-sided glue tape, two in a pack for a dollar. These little spray bottles are perfect size for any and everything. Uh, whether you're making your own sanitizing spray right now, oh, now, if you're like me, I try to keep a bag for everything, bag for the gym, bag for traveling, bag for in the car, and I wanted to have everything I need in all those bags, maybe uh, face, everything I need to shower in for my face and for makeup and for just in case and emergencies. So I use quite a few of these. I just put a piece of uh, like labeling tape or a label itself or a piece of uh, paper tape and just write what's on the bottle um, for whatever I need or want the spray for. I buy the, re the regular amount of whatever I just put in here and use for cleaning, for everything. I stock up on these and keep these, especially because they come two in a pack. And to me, I love the size. They're short and stubby, not too wide, not too skinny, perfect for me, a dollar for two of them. This is just simple uh, painter's tape. Painter's tape, like I said, I'm in the house, getting things done, knocking projects out. I have all of my boys here to help me, <laughs> um, and then the time to do so. So I've used painter's tape, and not just painter ta painter's tape, but actual, not just painter's tape, but actually paint rollers from there, from the Dollar Tree. It has the open bottom to where you can screw in, sorry about that, to where you can screw in a long pole to get higher places. They last, they don't rust easy, because I believe I bought one um, years and years ago from the Dollar Tree, and it's, it's been sitting in the garage. I've used it, I've washed it still functions perfect. They also have the actual rolls that go on the rolls for painting. So all from Dollar Tree. You can't not um, getting what you need of quality at the best price, right? This is just a measuring cup. Um, I find that this one convenient because it's kind of thick plastic. Y'all know I try to stay away from plastic, um, but I haven't found a glass one at the price that I, you know, am willing to pay for a measuring cup, seeing um, it's a measuring cup. Okay, anyway, I love the handle on it. It has liters on one side, milliliters, of course, cups and ounces and fluid ounces. Very convenient, works very well. I love it for the handle, $1. SOS pads, something that I grab in there if I'm like, oh, we don't have any, or we might need some, or I'm cleaning a specific something or whatever, I'll grab some. You know, anywhere you buy those, they're pretty much all the same price. Moving on. Sorry about the noise. Like I said, I did not unpack these out of the bags. I'm just trying to get this video to you guys and get this stuff put up. Y'all know I'll be on the move. Decor. This is a decor item. Look how gorgeous this is. I actually got three of these. I've already painted them white because that it goes more with my decor. This color is gorgeous. If this goes with your decor, and everything like that. Mine is kind of a um, farmhouse, uh, vintage, country, chic slash thrift store type, designer thrift store type vibe is what we got going on as decor in my home right now for spring and just um, probably for quite some time. But, so this color did not go with my decor. However, these are absolutely gorgeous. Never let the color of something um, deter you from what you see in the design or you know what you like in it in the first place because that can always be changed, okay? I got three of these, they were at a dollar a piece. This is what it looks like when I painted it all white on my mantle. This piece behind is actually something I made from Dollar Tree product as well. Of course, and like I said, with the um, organizing and things that I'm doing upstairs, I'm going with the gray and this is a fold out box. Jot is a brand that Dollar Tree carries, but this is a fold-out box. Um, it comes flat like this, but of course, if you look right here, it's actually, where's the sticker? Right there. It actually folds. It'll show you how it folds out to a storage box. And I love the teal and green, but I love the gray and the marble that it has in it as well. 
for one dollar look at this the secret ingredient is always love that's what i tell people about my cooking all the time so that's all this and i was like oh my gosh i have plans to redo my kitchen this is definitely going in there somewhere four dollars you can't beat it right uh this is just simply a brillo pad a really thick long brillo pad this is for my dog actually um his nails are getting a little out of hand we won't be taking him to the room as often why because apparently we don't need to be going out of the house um but his nails were long anyway and i just use one of these to do his nails once a week <laughs> nothing special nothing you know infamous or famous however what is infamous and famous about dollar tree to me is the educational books that they have for children there for years and years and years um years and years and years before i even had children um, when i was doing early childhood development teaching and things like that or if i would buy gifts for uh, family members and people who did have kids they're educational books they have so many different valuable little educational fun books for and i pick up at least at least two new ones every time i go into dollar tree even if i don't pick them up i still see them okay they have them per grade up at the top there and I've got a few different grades here in my house, pre-K, first, going into second, kinder, things like that. Um, time and money, like you cannot beat these books, especially in the situation that we're in now. Like I said, we normally do homeschool and um, these books come in really, really great handy. Uh, print offs are always great, but you can't beat, you know, a 20 page book of great educational things for your little ones for a dollar okay so i always get their books always look through them and they always have um, different ones for different age groups different levels and different things like that i keep thumbtacks around the house because if it's something that i want it to be hung up that i don't want to just full go and do a hole or uh, sticky or something i will use thumbtacks in a minute before i use nails or screws if i can get away with it with thumbtacks i'm gonna do it this is just another educational pack i got from them uh well from there this is just another educational pack I got from there. From the Dollar Tree, this is vocabulary words. Um, this is another, it says for ages four through six. Just another educational thing we're going to have in our little mini classroom. Paint brushes. This is a chalk marker. I think that's what they want to call it. A chalk writer. All it pretty much is is just a piece of chalk in pen form. Um, it doesn't have a pen. I'm sad to say it doesn't have a point on it, but it does hold like a pencil to write on, um, you know, any kind of chalkboard. If you watched the 99 cent store video from last week, you can see that I got a um, adhesive chalkboard that I'm going to put on the wall. We write with chalk all the time. I have like chalk, chalkboard decor upstairs for myself in the kitchen where I write the menu for the week and everything. So this kind of pen comes in handy. I have a few of these around the house for a dollar. Okay. Batteries. They might not be the best, longest lasting batteries, but they are efficient and they do work. I buy all of their batteries. I buy... Decent batteries like Duracell from Am an Amazon brand, brand bat <laughs> excuse me, and Amazon brand batteries. But I also buy all the size batteries from the Dollar Tree for just in case because they do work pretty well. Okay, long term use for big stuff, not so much. However, um, a lot of kids' toys, watches, smoke detectors, different things like that, they do work for those. Back on educational. Flashcards, like I said, the options for educational teaching type items and tools at this store is um, five star. Absolutely five star. And normally you would pay, I don't know, any ranges between three, 15, 20 bucks for these somewhere else. Okay. If, excuse me. And of course, if a dollar's not in your budget, then you make them at home. There was a point in time where I did make all of this at home. It was all either printouts or handwritten and cut out and things like that. However, I do feel it's beneficial to have these, especially seeing that I have children in so many different levels now. Um, it's a much more convenient for me to purchase them like this. Okay. These are flashcards. The flashcards. <laughs> these are flashcards, brain buster cards for just different things around the world and in life. And these are subtraction. I think I got multiplication and division on the flashcards. Moving on, you guys know we do a lot of cooking. If you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you'll see dinner at the Grams or our vlogs where I'm cooking with the boys or I'm just playing cooking, period, trying to feed everybody in my household. They do have 
cake pans, cake holder pans or whatnot. I tend to not do a lot of sweets. I just do not encourage a lot of sweets in my household, even if it is keto or uh, health friendly, diet friendly sweets. Um, that's just not something I'm super, super big on, even though my kids seem to be because their dad is. And we're quarantined. You can't go wrong with a cake pan, right? Cakes. They do have cupcakes and stuff like that too, but I think the cupcake holder is only uh, nine, a three, a nine holder, um, and nine cupcakes only gives like everybody in my cup, my home one round of cupcakes, so that doesn't work. It's easier for me to make a big cake and slice it up than have to make a bazillion cupcakes, right? Let's see here. Um, <laughs> the fresh citrus scent perfume. This is pretty much like poofery. Everybody's seen that even if you think it's a joke or whatever, the poofery spray, this is pretty much an offering of the poofery spray. I have never used it, but being quarantined with um, the male capacity in my casa has made me venture out on what I can do to keep my sanity. Let's just put it that way. So we're gonna see what this is talking about. Hopefully it helps with a lot of the uh, manpower, I guess you can say, that folks around my house. <laughs> And um, I guess I'll let you guys know how this goes. If you're interested on how this goes, just leave a comment below. And I will emphasize on, you know, on how the head works out. Moving on, the paintbrushes you saw, this, these are six paint trays. I already opened them because we painted our birdhouses the other day, which we got from Dollar Tree. Little woodcraft birdhouses. The paint we got from Dollar Tree, the paintbrushes, and the actual woodcraft itself. We made birdhouses. Uh, the bird seed I actually got from 99 cent store. You saw that in the video last week. Um, and the paint I think I did too. They have paint at 99 cent store and Dollar Tree. But anyway, let's get done with this video. These are the paint trays. There's six little ducats inside of, or grooves inside of a plastic tray. Very easy, very convenient. Not just for painting, but for any kind of, I mean, I guess you could even use this as a jewelry holder. You know, let your imagination run wild. This is good for one dollar, okay? Oh, last but not least, this bag of goodies. My seven-year-old is a sock guy. He's a sporty kid. He's very expressive, very creative. If you like, I said, if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, he's the one that's always either jumping off something, doing some kind of trick, flip, or something or another. He loves socks. He loves really fun socks. So every time I go in there, I look around. And we've got sharks and spaceships and fishes. Um, a dollar a piece, you can't beat them, especially because he's a boy and he goes through socks very fast, rather they're inexpensive socks or $5, you know, name brand socks. They go through socks, they're kids, that's what they do. Um, but these, I feel the quality of these is really nice. I don't feel they're like, oh, they tear up super easy or anything like that. Normally when I get them, he has them for quite a while um, with regular use before. Uh, I'm like, oh, they have a hole in them. We need to recycle them or, you, you know, creatively come up with something else. But I don't really do holy socks. So um, we get rid of our holy socks. Moving on. There's a baseball and a little plastic baseball bat and baseball somewhere around here. <laughs> I got that from Dollar Tree, but the boys have already got their hands on it. And they have a three pack of the balls to go with it. This is... Um, Something I like to just keep around the house for them to play with because they are sports players. We have many windows and we are um, close enough to our neighbors to where we can tear something up if we use real baseballs and real baseball bats. So we stick to the plastic on that note. This is a 10 pack, excuse me, a 16 pack of dark bullets, okay? These dark bullets happen to be the exact same size as Nerf dark bullets, okay? If you're well aware, Nerf dart bullets on sale are roughly five or so dollars. Not on sale, they are 10 plus dollars. You all know when they shoot them, they go everywhere, but they get lost easy. In my house, not only do they get lost easy, they get torn up easy. Our two-year-old, for some reason, likes to bite the tips off of them. I have no idea why, <laughs> nobody knows why he does it. He doesn't hold it in his mouth, he doesn't chew them up, he doesn't, he just will, if he sees one, he will pick it up, bite the tip off of it, spit both of them off on the ground and go on about his business. <laughs> so let's say this is kind of a lifesaver now that, um, and then of course the four year old and the seven year old is like, I don't have any bullets for my toy gun. 
Oh, the headache and the struggle is so real. <laughs> Thank you, Dollar Tree. Now that struggle is a breeze. You have made my life all the more easier and convenient. I appreciate you. <laughs> 16 count for a dollar. So now that's one of the few things on the little small list that I have that I must pick up every time I walk into a dollar store, i.e. glue pack of glue sticks, those Nerf bullets, normally some kind of tape, either like double-sided tape or the um, line tape. So there's just a few things that I just, even if I'm running in there to grab something to drink because I'm out and about or just something quick, there's like a list of four things that I will never leave a dollar store without. That's just, you know, my thing. Anyway, that's not here nor there. So I got a couple packs of those. You all know I'm big on ingredients when it comes to food and in the kitchen, right? Salt 84, Himalayan pink salt, fine grain, vegan certified, non-GMO verified, kosher certified. Let's see here. Um, how much is in here? And this thing is heavy and it's resellable. This is a one pound bag of this amazing salt for one dollar. This will retail you easily in a whole food store, eight bucks plus, okay? This is good quality, good quality stuff. One dollar at Dollar Tree, okay? The crafts are the wood crafts I told you guys about. This is a boat. This is another birdhouse. These are the birdhouses you put together. These are amazing crafts. I want to say, oh, these are amazing crafts for your kids because these are crafts that I do with my children. If you do not have children and you're just a crafter and someone who likes to work with their hands, uh, someone who does crafts and different things like painting and coloring because it's therapeutic and helpful for you, if you have $1,000 to spend, great. I still don't understand why you wouldn't go get something of quality um, for the best price. To each their own, whether it's a thousand dollars or only five dollars to spare. You can't beat fun, good, crafty things or things that you like and you want at a great price, right? Colgate Enamel Health and Colgate Sensitive Toothpaste. They are the smaller packages, but this is legitimate Colgate toothpaste. I just bought a um, regular size sensitive toothpaste. I'm not sure if it was Colgate or not. It was for sensitive and it was $12. <laughs> for the $1 that I went to before I went to um, the other store to buy the toothpaste did not have any because this is the first time I've seen any enamel health toothpaste in any dollar store period okay but it is at dollar tree for 99 cents and it is the 1.3 ounce okay you can come across a sensitive toothpaste sometimes but i really needed it they did not have it so i coughed up 12 dollars for one two which might have been the double size of this if this is 1.3 ounces double maybe triple size of it but even if i bought three of these it's not even half of what i paid for the one to a toothpaste. Anyway, they do have sensitive and enamel health Colgate for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Okay? Let's move on here. Okay, this should be the last, though this is not the last for crafting. Uh, Sharpies, a dollar. You just have to pop in on different colors. Sometimes they have different colors and different sizes. Of course, they have off brands or different brands or not name brand brands of these markers. However, Sharpie brand, blue and red. Um, I When they have different colors, I try to grab the different colors because I use them for everything. You guys know that. Uh, these, even if you go to like a Staples or something like that, these are not a dollar. These are at least two to three dollars a piece, maybe $1.99, but not a dollar. But they're a dollar, dollar tree. Last for in the kitchen. King, excuse me, Kingsford, garlic and herb for grilling. Y'all know these seasonings are well over $4 a piece. We've got the lemon pepper and the garlic and herb for grilling and for cooking. At Dollar Tree, a dollar a piece. Normally $3 to $4 plus. Any other grocery store you go to, even on sale. 
Um, butter popcorn seasoning. Like I said, I know that we're stuck in the house and I wasn't able to make it to one of my whole food stores that I prefer to get things like this from. You've got to live a little. There's a lot of chemicals in this, but the popcorn butter seasoning, the kids like it when we make our own popcorn. So I got some, a really big bottle, 2.85 ounces for Dollar Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, um, I have been trying to steer away from buying makeup. Dollar Tree has been carrying some amazing brands. Um, Elf is an amazing brand that carries some of their stuff. I've come across hard candy in there. You guys should see the Dollar Tree videos floating around about the hard candy makeup um, that they've been carrying there. L.A. Color, um, L.A. Girl. Uh, there's been some Maybelline in there sometime. These are pretty decent brands of makeup. I did not need any makeup. This was this is L.A. Color. It was so cute. I, <laughs> to be honest with you, this was so cute. This was like, oh, this is just something that I can just throw. A very thin, compact, really cute colors. I was like, I can just throw this in anything and just, you know, have it for one of my mini emergency just in case <laughs> bags that I have everywhere. Uh, and it was just so cute. I didn't see any more. I didn't see any more like this. I didn't see any more that were possibly a different color or anything. It, it was just this one. So I was like, I have to get it. It's so cute. So last but not least, I am going to make a um, tray from a hot glue gun. I was using a mirror and I'm kind of all over the place with it, but it's starting to make a mess. And I saw a wonderful, wonderful craft on how to make your own little display. These are actually tile coasters. On the back is cork. I have some of these, just not this wording, but I have these all over my house as coasters to use for decoration, for wording, because they have some beautiful wording and different things on them. So I use them for decor and they are real ceramic. Um, this, this one says, life is a journey. Enjoy every moment. I got two of them because I'm going to be making a DIY with them. If you're interested in seeing that DIY, <laughs> just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get that to you guys, okay? That is it for our, um, I guess, a little bit more elaborate Mr. Newest Dollar Tree video than I thought. That's normally how it goes. I'm like, oh, I'm here to get four or five things and the next thing you know, it's like, oh, I need that and I need that. So I try not to get a basket. That's kind of trouble. But... It was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be alternating these with the 99 cent store videos because as you can see, there's a lot that I put out on my channel and I don't want one, one thing to consume uh, more than the other. I want to keep spreading the love, spreading the energy and the vibes and just sharing all of me with all of you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please stay safe. Um, I'm trying to stay positive and just keep going, you know, not just as life as normal, but still that there is life. Um, to live no matter what we are all going through and experiencing right now in these crazy hectic times please please make sure that you are uh, prioritizing and knowing what's really important right now which is to be still which is to listen uh, it's a lot of information going on everywhere um, but if you listen to that higher power that higher source within yourself and that the one that's within us all uh, you'll be you'll know what you should and shouldn't be doing um in life and what's going on right now okay please be safe please be healthy um, until next time guys thank you so much for watching it was so fun i love doing these videos with you guys i love sharing part of pieces of myself with you all and i love the feedback of course if you like what you see any comments questions concerns feel free to comment down below hit the subscribe and that bell share with everybody so they can join in. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Ciao.